We've got two things to talk about that will make you smile. I guarantee you're going to have a little bit of a laugh and we have one, and all these are related to gold and silver, don't worry. We have one thing that's going to make you scratch your head and maybe say, hmm. And I'm real interested to get your feedback, your opinion on that matter, because I think it's kind of fascinating. First, I want to tell you, it's Saturday. Usually, I'm much more active on YouTube, but I had to spend the entire day today working on the basement mobile. The 2005 Acura TSX that I've had since she was a baby delivered from the factory in Japan. A host of problems. Don't ever give up, guys. If you can fix things on your own, do it. Learn some skills. Be resourceful, right? And hopefully you're more successful in your repair ventures than I was today. Hey, let's move straight into this. I want to talk about a couple funny comments that I got lately. Look, we know the silver price has been challenging lately, right? The gold price, too. Let me read this to you. These are This, is, this was the funniest comment of the week. Uh, somebody said silver to $12.50 very soon. We don't think that's funny now, do we? That's not the funny part. Somebody said, I hope so, because a lot of people want lower silver prices so they can buy more, right? Stack more. Uh, somebody said that would be amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then this guy, Jason Perry, 7970, he hit the gong with this one. He said the silver price, it's like a slinky going down the stairs to Ron's basement. <laughs> and I just, I don't know about you, uh, uh, maybe you don't find that as funny as I do, but it was actually, it's kind of true. It feels that way, right? Like, I think there's 13 steps coming down to my basement, and every day for the last 13 days, down, 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 down. Guys, that's not going to last, right? This stuff, this, 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 Look how shiny that is. This, this, that's real, okay? I won't even get into it. You know. Now let's move on to the second funny comment. And don't forget, we have something else to talk about that's going to make you scratch your head and is super interesting. This next one really gave me a chuckle. Uh, Johnson8014 said, Ron, a little advice for you. Next time you buy a house, buy a slab home. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was funny. Now, we got one more we need to talk about. Bear with me. I'm dealing with... Uh... Here we go. Okay. Fiddle Mestre 4274 said, I always learn a lot from your show. Then I can go comment on other channels and sound a lot smarter than I am. Let me know if you guys think maybe he was lacing that with a little bit of sarcasm. Now, let's move on to something a little more serious. Let's talk about what's going on in 14 states. Already went on in three states, but now we have another 11 that are joining the fray to try and pass legislation that will return to the citizens their right to use silver and gold as real money. This is really happening all across the U.S. If you watch my channel, there's a lot of other information about it. But this is a big, big year in the United States for states reclaiming silver and gold as legal tender. And Kansas is the most recent that's initiated legislation to do just that for their citizens. They have a comprehensive bill uh, that's been uh, presented, and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Now, it got me thinking about the Wizard of Oz, and I said, you know, it, this kind of whole thing reminds me, and I want your opinion on this, reminds me of the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, and the Oz in the end, was just some kind of cowardly guy that was behind the curtain. And that, you know, look, I don't know Jerome Powell. I've invited him here many, many times, so I don't know him personally. But figuratively, I think of him as kind of the man behind the curtain, right? And, and the dollar is maybe like the big curtain that's hanging up. But there's way, way much more. One of my viewers uh, brought up the fact that in the original book, The Wizard of Oz, it was not a yellow brick road. 
it was actually a golden road. I don't know if that's true or not. I've not had time to dig in and find out, but I found that very interesting, okay? Also, Dorothy's slippers in the book were actually made out of silver uh, instead of this ruby situation that was in the movie. Also, somebody pointed out the Wizard of Oz, O-Z. How do you uh, abbreviate ounce, O-Z? Is there anything there? I don't know. So just like in the movie, when Dorothy's not in Kansas anymore, it's not just Kansas anymore. There's a tornado moving across the country again to allow state citizens on a state-by-state -state basis to reclaim their right to use gold and silver as legal tender. There's a lot of connections to this Wizard of Oz movie uh, one of the one of my viewers helped out a great deal with that. Let me see if I can get his name. I want to give him some recognition. Robert G. I think it was Robert Garrett, unless I have that wrong, pointed out a couple of the points that I mentioned about The Wizard of Oz. Hey guys, have a great weekend. I just wanted to say hi here on a Saturday. It's been a long day for me. I won't go into long couple days. You know, when just you know how it is. I'm you know, you know how life goes, right? I'm not the only one. You're not the only one, but when it's happening, you know, like I like to say, my, my problems, they're not very important, but they're the only ones that I tend to really think about, right? <laughs> or I'm not very important, but I'm all I think about. Uh, but we keep pushing on. Never, ever, ever give up, right? I mean, like we are good people. We want to do good things for our family, for our friends, for our community. We want to provide safety and protection for our family. That's why we like precious metals. I'm going to shut up before I lose you as a viewer, but I do appreciate you coming here. You're always welcome here in the basement. I'll be back next week with some more content that's more specifically focused on the metals. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.